to locate a well and extend the well casing. So we'll use the metal detector to get a general idea of right where the well is, and then we finalize it using a steel probe pushing it through the soil and it is touching the concrete lid. Now we're going to go lift the lid up and see what we've got inside. Okay. Alright, so now that we removed the concrete lid, now we can see what the well is. As you see, there's a sanitary seal, there's the well wire, and the water line also heading out to the house. So the next step is to break loose the plumbing fittings and to remove the sanitary seal. Now we've removed the sanitary seal, it's taken us about 30 minutes. So it was a struggle. They generally are very corroded after being in the well pit for a long time. So this is what it looks like once we remove the seal from the well. Okay, now we've set up our upsy daisy to pull the well pump. That's this machine right here. It makes it a lot easier. This is a better look at the sanitary seal. This is sits inside that steel casing, has a rubber grommet in the center, and you can seal the corrosion. That's what took it so long to get it out. It was a real pain in the neck, as most of them are. All right now we're going to pull the pump out the rest of the way. All right, today we're here to extend this casing. The main purpose of it is to install a fitless adapter to make a sanitary connection into the house. That's this fitting here. So with this, we no longer need a pit in order to access the well year round. Now how it works is that we're going to permanently bolt this through the casing and that the well pump is going to hang off from underneath this part. The water connection goes into the house from this section. So we want to access the well pump from above. We'll put a pipe in here and this will just slide out like so. And the well pump will come up out of the well. So now what we'll do is we're going to have to cut the hole in our steel casing that we're going to use to extend the well. Uh, now we're going to take a grinder and we're going to clean the surface of the old well where it's been corroded over the many years so that it makes a nice clean surface to arc weld our new piece of pipe to. extend the old casing to. We've now already welded on our steel coupling that's threaded. We've installed our fitless adapter. We're about now to set our new piece of pipe into the new coupling. There it goes. All right, now we're gonna pull the fitless out and this whole idea of the fitless is gonna come together a little sharper when I, after I do this. So we're going to use this one inch steel pipe called the pitless pipe, pitless bar, pool bar, there's many different names. I'm going to slide this down to the well. I can see the pitless from right here. I'm going to thread into it. Securely thread it into the pitless and pull the half out. This is where the pump is going to hang on. So it's going to be threaded in here. The water's going to come through there and into the other half of the pitless and into the house. So we put the pump back in the well. And this is the very top of the well pipe. Here's our electrical connection. Now we're going to put our pitless adapter at the top of the well pipe. This is going to make our final connection down inside the well. Okay, now we have our pitless attached to our drop pipe. That goes down to our well pump. So now we're going to install this half of the pitless into the other one. That's going to make our final water connection into the house. We're going to use this one inch steel bar. Sit the threads into the top of the pitless. Secure it, pop these clamps. Lower the pump. In 
and the other half of the pitless. I made it look easy. It takes a lot of years to get it to go that well, but it's not that hard of a job. You usually have to have a very good flashlight, but today's a nice sunny day, so it went well. Finalized our casing extension for today, and we've got our watertight well cap, which is for code. We have electrical conduit. This is our steel casing that's going to be here. Down below, we have our water connection into our pitless. The only thing left to do for today is backfill the hole, figure out what we're going to do with our old concrete lid. 